Welcome back to Entertainment Talk. Today I'm here to do another list type of podcast. Uh, this one I'm going to be discussing. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different actors who could potentially play as James Bond, or, or nine actors who would be my choice to play uh, James Bond in. I think 26 is the next one, not the last one that Daniel Craig's supposed to be doing, that one is 25, uh, whatever the next one's going to be called, Bond 26. Uh, Daniel Craig has said recently in an interview that uh, Bond 25 is going to be his last one, although I think he said that with Bond 24, but uh, whatever the case may be in the immediate future, uh, whether he does do a 26th Bond, uh, Bond 26 or someone else takes over, uh, these are going to be the nine different people who I'm going to be choosing, uh, who would be just you know, actors that I would choose uh, to play as James Bond, um, because he can't keep doing it, someone else is going to have to take over eventually, so, um, yeah, of course, let me know what you think of the list, let me know uh, who you would choose out of this list, and out of your own choices, and that sort of thing, I'm sure that there's people who I haven't uh, considered, that sort of thing, uh, but without further ado, let's get into things here. By the way, this isn't a top nine. This isn't sort of a here's who I most and least likely would like to to play James Bond. Although there is one particular person in here. Uh, if I had to pick from this nine, uh, there is one particular person I would choose. But I'll talk about who that is in a minute. So number nine is going to be Jack O'Connell. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Jack o- O'Connell is, he played as uh, what was his name? Um, he played as a cook in Skins, in the hit E4 uh, TV show Skins, which aired a few years ago. Uh, it's also got the, if you guys remember when I reviewed uh, Crawl and um, the the actress from that who played Effie for, for several seasons. Uh, they were both in that show together, of course, uh, Jack O'Connell and uh, N- Nadia, or whatever her name was. Uh, the, the actress from Crawl, who was recently in that horror film. Um, yes, Jack O'Connell, uh, he's pretty young at the moment. Um, I think he would be very very good choice uh he certainly knows how to deal with a darker storyline because you can't say that skins wasn't a dark show um he certainly got the acting chops i think uh he hasn't been in a terrible amount recently or, or a good a good amount recently um i've not seen him specifically in something since uh, skins which ended in Gosh, must have been 2011, 2012, maybe, uh, roughly that around that sort of time. Uh, so I've not seen him in a particular major role since Skins, since he played Cook on Skins uh, for a couple of seasons. It was an anthology, I think he did two of the seasons, uh, and he was also one of the characters who was picked for the uh, special episodes in the final season as well. I think he was the last character who was in, in the specials for the uh, ninth season, I want to say, for Skins, so there's that. Uh, so, yeah, Richard Madden, of course, who played as uh, one of the characters from Game of Thrones. Uh, was it Rob? No, it was Ned. No, not Ned. It was, uh, yeah, it was Rob Stark. Um, yeah, Rob Stark, of course, in Game of Thrones for a couple of seasons and whatnot. Uh, I think he'd be a decent choice. Uh, you could just kind of, I guess, picture him as James Bond, that sort of thing. Um, I don't uh, know. He's, he was in Bodyguard, wasn't he, the first season of that? I know that's got a second season, I think. Um... But I don't know if he's going to like be returning or, or what the situation is or when that's going to be. Uh, of course, it's a BBC series, so it could come back at any point, really. Um, they're not sort of run on particular schedules, per se. But other than if he does Bodyguard Season 2, uh, I don't know of anything. Um, was he? He wasn't one of the ones that was cast in um, Eternals, was he? I think he might have been. I know Angelina Jolie was in there. I think Richard Madden might be in there. But outside of that, if he was cast in Eternals, I'm pretty, pretty sure it was, was him. Uh, I can't think of anything major he's got going on other than that. Uh, And I think he'd be a good choice for uh, Bond for for 26. So there's his role. There's him. Um, One of the less likely choices and probably one of the lesser known choices. uh, Chandler Riggs. Of course Chandler Riggs played Carl for several seasons on AMC's The Walking Dead. And he's in um, A Million Little Things. I think in a recurring role of some kind. I don't know because I don't watch A Million Little Things. Uh, I think it's on ABC or something in the US. I don't know where it is. In the UK, probably doesn't have a UK home. Uh, I don't know what season that's in either. I think it's in season two or something. I just know he's been in certain episodes of A Million Little Things on uh, ABC. Uh, Chandler's, of course, very young. I think he's around 20 at this point. Uh, so that's obviously a good age to kind of be stepping in, stepping in and whatnot. Um, a lot of ki- a lot of people would, of course, question his acting talent. Because a lot of people did when he played Carl on The Walking Dead. 
Um, but I think he would be a fairly decent choice. And again, he's another one that you could kind of have a long term as well. So there's that. Uh, Kit Harrington, of course, Her- Kit Harrington played as Jon Snow in uh, all eight seasons of uh, OMS at AMC. HBO's uh, Game of Thrones, of course. Um, I think he's obviously got a big name for himself out there. He played as he was in. Um, what was that BBC show? There was this little BBC show. It had three episodes. It was called Old oh, Gunpowder. That's what it was called. Uh, he played as a character in that on uh, BBC. Other than that, I can't think of too many major things Kit Harrington is, is in or has been in. Of course, Game of Thrones only finished this year. So, uh, there's that. Um, I don't know when they finished filming, but obviously the show actually only ended this year. So, uh, Kit Harrington I think would be great. Uh, I think he's certainly got the acting chops. Obviously, he's, he was a leading man for several seasons in uh, Game of Thrones, so I think he could definitely be a uh, a good choice for that. Another candidate who's slightly less likely, but uh, another one, another name I wanted to throw in the pile, uh, Andrew Lincoln. Of course, Andrew Lincoln played uh, Chandler Riggs's on-screen dad, Rick Grimes, for several seasons of The Walking Dead, and has got has got an upcoming uh, Rick Grimes trilogy of films. Uh, the first one's due out to, due to come out in 2020. I don't know if they've finished filming or when they're supposed to be finishing filming, but that's supposed to be uh, arriving at some point in. 2020 uh so he's got that going so could he do three rick grams films and maybe a james bond film could he be james bond um i think he could do a fairly good job obviously he again j- just like Kit harrington played as a leading man for several seasons in another huge show obviously amc's the walking dead as rick grimes uh he still is rick grimes just in a film instead of the tv show at the moment uh i think he would <coughs> excuse me I think he would make a uh, a fairly good choice. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, another name that not a, a lot of people, if they don't watch Walking Dead or whatever the case may be, because Walking Dead's pretty big, but it's not. I don't think on the level of like, oh yeah, Game of Thrones. I know that the George R. R. Martin books, that sort of thing. I don't really know that as many people would go. Oh yeah, I know who Andrew Lincoln is. That sort of thing. Um, I just think Kit, Kit Harrington, in terms of comparing you know, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, I just think Kit Harrington is a uh, slightly bigger name. At this point. Uh, Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens played as. What was his character's name on Legion? I can't quite remember. I didn't watch uh, past season one. But he played some guy on uh, Legion. The the main character on Legion. I can't actually remember anybody's name from that show. So he's not sort of exclusive to that. Uh, played obviously on Legion for three seasons. Which was the uh, X-Men spin-off show sort of. On FX. It's now finished. Um, I don't know what Dan Stevens has currently got lined up. He did do a horror film on Netflix called... Uh, I can't remember the name of it. But it was some sort of horror film on Netflix that he did uh, fairly recently. Uh, I don't think I don't know if it was this year or, or just recently. Um, Dan Stevens was also... Um, when they were trying to... When Fox was trying to pitch... Or sorry, when Howard Gordon was trying to pitch a Jack Bauer prequel... To Fox, uh, there wasn't any names that were particularly circulated, but a lot of na- one of the names that was kind of thrown around a bit was Dan Stevens to potentially play a young Jack Bauer. They've since ditched the idea of a Jack Bauer prequel, so obviously he won't be doing that. Uh, I think Dan Stevens would make a great role, a, a great candidate for it. Uh, he's done another role that I can't quite remember as well, but uh, yeah, I think Dan Stevens would be uh, a fairly good choice for that. So. There you go. Uh, all right, let's move into the top three. One of these that's in not the top three. One of these that's in um, in this top three is my specific like I would point at him type of choice, and you'll find out who that is in a minute. Today's sponsor is Kualu. If you'd like to get started with a domain name and a website today, just click on the link in the show notes, and that will take you over to Kualu to get started. They also have a live support chat system that you can use, which is in the bottom right hand corner. So get started with a new website and domain name today with Kualu. Hey everybody, if you would like to get the ad-free versions of all of our podcasts and support entertainment talk along the way, all you need to do is head over to patreon.com forward slash entertainment talk, sign up either as a creator or as a Patreon, there's no difference there. That's just the option for either becoming a creator now or just staying as a patron for the moment. And then all you need to do is support us at the $1 level tier. That will get you access to all of the ad-free podcasts that we've done in the the past. And get you access to all the ad-free podcasts in that month as well. So it's a great way to support us on Entertainment Talk and to get rid of the ads and get your ad-free podcasts. You can also become a patron at the $3 level tier. That gets you access to ad-free podcasts 
and allows you to redeem a review of a TV show or a film of entirely your choice. That's one per month for either a TV show or a film review, which is at the $3 level tier. As always, thank you very much for listening. Back to the show. Alright, recently on yeah, recently on Entertainment Talk, uh, Man United today have played against Sheffield United, uh, and that podcast is on the way. I'm I'm uploading that while I'm recording this, so just doing a bit of multitasking. Uh, but yes, Man United drew three three today against uh, Sheffield United. Not quite as bad as it sounds, but sort of is. You can hear more on the podcast. A uh, bit of a different podcast as well. You'll also find out why on the podcast if you're interested in sports and if you're interested in sports let's say sunday's episode for today was for fifa 20 as well yes there will be different games coming up there already has been last week with Fortnite and some other stuff and concrete genie which is i think has been released already uh but yeah some different ones coming up for that but another fifa episode for those of you who want to see that uh frozen 2 review of course frozen is the frozen 2 is the Disney sequel uh, follow up to the 2013 hit, of course, with Let It Go and all that sort of stuff. Um, yes, my spoiler free review. It doesn't say spoiler free, but it is spoiler free, but it also doesn't say spoilers. So you can just go in there anyway and check it out. Uh, yes, my Frozen 2 review is out for the 2019 uh, sequel follow up to the 2013 hit classic not really classic but anyway uh good talk good place podcast um of course it's on its mid-season finale had it uh, on friday or on thursday depending on where you live uh season four episode nine the good place will be back around the 10th of january so look out for that in the new year random gaming talk last week we talked about uh the new crash bandicoot rumor for a potential game in 2020 and a potential potentially to be announced at this year's game awards speaking of the game awards we also uh, talked about the nominations or some of the nominations not every single one but some of the major ones uh, for 2019 uh, the game awards itself will be on the 13th of december hosted by jeff Keighley, of course and we also talked about uh, xo19 which is xbox's fan event for 2019 which was held in london we discussed all the announcements from that uh, watching the watchman season one episode five for watchman will continue Continue to cover that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Walking Dead season ten episode seven. Uh, season ten episode eight will be this next episode today or tomorrow, depending on where you live, which will be the mid-season finale. So uh, season ten episode seven, the most recent episode we covered was the penultimate episode for the mid-season. You can check that out as well. We've got podcasts for Flash, Arrow, and Batwoman. Dark Crystal: Age of Resistance is. Um, Another segment from Entertainment Talk TV episode 27. If you want to listen to all the segments, go and listen to that particular podcast. Atypical Season 3 review. My review of Netflix's third season of Atypical. Spoiler free, spoiler split. And that's what we've been doing on entertainmenttalk.org and on podcast platforms. The last three. Alright, so, uh, number three, or not number three. Uh, See, I'm saying number three because I got it in the list and Idris Elba's the third from top. But again, not a specific top nine. Uh, Idris Elba is the uh, third one from the top on this list, if you want to call him that. Um, I think Idris Elba would be amazing as James Bond. I also think he would be very good as Batman. But of course, we've got Robert Pattinson doing that now. Pattinson? Pattinson? I think it's Pattinson. Uh, Robert Pattinson, you know who I'm talking about. Um, Of course, he's doing the Batman for 2021. So uh, Idris Elba won't be able to get in there just yet with that. But could Idris Elba be the next James Bond for Bond 26? Probably not because of politics, but I'm not here to really talk about that. Uh, You you know what I'm talking about in terms of, of course, because he's black. That doesn't matter. He could still be a great James Bond. And isn't isn't it just... (sighs) How much do I want to talk about this? The fact that some people would really willingly deprive Idris Elba the chance to play James Bond or Batman because he's black is just absurd. And that's also, if we're going to continue to do that as a, as a society, which we've already started doing, then you are essentially turning around to Idris Elba and saying, okay, you can't be Batman or James Bond because you're black, and that's absolutely ridiculous. So, there's that. Uh, but yes, I think Idris Elba would be a great James Bond. It doesn't matter to me that he's black. It uh, doesn't affect his acting performance. So, uh, I th- I think he's an amazing actor. I, he's been great in, uh, is it Luther? The uh, BBC drama for four seasons, sort of. One of the seasons had two episodes, but four seasons technically. Um, he was obviously in uh, Hobbs and Shaw earlier this this year with Jason Statham for the Fast and Furious franchise spin-off. I can't believe I know so much about that into just in terms of the basics because I completely ignored it. Um, but and there's also a line I think in that film was where he's saying uh, uh, "Black Batman" or something like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yes, I think Idris Elba would be an amazing James Bond or Batman, like I've just said, uh, and probably good for other roles as well. So there's that. 
Um, yeah, so Idris Elba obviously is a good choice for that. Henry Cavill, uh, speaking of superheroes, Henry Cavill wants to be ba- uh, Batman. Wants to, be, I think he'd be a good Batman as well. Uh, Henry Cavill wants to still be still be Superman. Warner Brothers doesn't know what they're doing, uh, so there's just a big question mark on the whole situation. But outside of Superman. Of course, uh, it, uh, Henry Cavill is currently going to be playing as Geralt of Rivia in Netflix's The Witcher series, adapted from the book, um, which is going to be releasing on December 20th. If we have a season one preview, just to let you know. Um, I think Henry Cavill would be an amazing James Bond. There were some comments. Uh, I was watching a bit of a, a clip of uh, the John Campion show, which you should go and check out. He's very, very good at what he does. Uh, he was uh, doing this topic on how... Uh, Henry Cavill was told at some point that he's too fat to play James Bond, um, which, yeah, you might be laughing <laughs> right now at just the the ridiculous fact of, like, you look at Henry Cavill now and uh, how, I, I believe, ripped is the modern-day term, um, how ripped he is, how muscly he is, he'd be a great James Bond, he'd be a great Batman, he would be a great Superman if that carried on, he's hopefully going to be a great Geralt, I'm sure he'd be great in a lot of, a lot of different roles. And I think James Bond would be another one to add to the list. So, um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to the future of Henry Cavill's uh, career, whatever uh, shape that may, whatever way, shape, or form that might be in. Um, yeah, so that's Henry Cavill. Uh, I think he'd be great James Bond as well. So, and the particular person uh, again, I think all these people would be very suitable, apart from maybe a, a few different actors on this list who I've kind of thrown in a bit more, but I've already explained that. Daniel Radcliffe, of course, most known probably as Mr. Potter, Harry Potter himself, uh, of course, from the Warner Brothers, uh, that is a Warner Brothers thing, isn't it, Harry Potter, yeah, uh, from the Warner Brothers hit, um, wizard franchise, film franchise, which had eight films, was it, was there seven, but the last one was two parts, I think it was eight films, anyway, um, yeah, I think Daniel Radcliffe would be a great James Bond, of course, he's pretty young still, haven't looked up how old he is, but I don't think he's that old, so... Uh, he might even be around the same age as, like, Robert Pattinson, roughly. Rough, uh, roughly. Um, I think Daniel Craig... Uh, Daniel Craig... <laughs> he's already been doing it. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe could be a great uh, James Bond. And he's one that, you know, if you... When you see a press release and you would see, you know, Daniel Radcliffe cast as James Bond in, in Bond 26, that would be a straightaway... Okay, Harry Potter as James Bond. I think a lot of people would kind of recognise that and respond to that. So... Yeah, that's my choices for James Bond. Um, who do you think is going to be taking the role? Yeah, so who do you think would be uh, good for the 26th uh, James Bond film? Or do you think that Daniel Craig is actually going to come back and do another film? Do you think he's going to go, not back on his word, but just kind of change his mind, I suppose? Because um, obviously he said he wasn't going to come back for number 25, but he is. So um, I, can't be, I can't remember the name of it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so yeah, what do you think? who do you think is going to be James Bond for Bond 26? coming out in three to four years roughly whenever that's going to be because uh, new one's obviously supposed to be out next year so there's that um yeah you can of course let me know all that stuff uh what do you think of my list who do you want as bond 26 do you think daniel craig is going to come back etc etc um let me know matthew at entertainment talk.org to the e-talk uk there's a contact page and information in your show notes as well all right yeah there's our list um we'll see what the future holds for all of these actors really um, and hopefully Idris Elba can um, not be shunned away from roles that he deserves. So there's that. Uh, Alright, you can find all the content that we've got on entertainmenttalk.org. Um, if you want to support the podcast, support Entertainment Talk, we're on Patreon. Check out the $1 and $3 level tiers. They might be of interest to you. Uh, you can also, of course, use our Amazon affiliate link. You can shop on Amazon if you're shopping for Christmas stuff or yourself. Or both. It's up to you, of course. Whatever you want to do. Uh, but please make sure to use our Amazon affiliate link. Affiliate link along the way. Uh, that's where we'll, we'll get a small cut of what you spend, but it won't cost you anything extra. So that's great as well. Uh, iTunes feeds. Please rate, review, subscribe to those as well. Uh, and if, you, of course, you're having any issues with the website or with any iTunes feeds, again, please let us know, and we'll look into what the issue is. Um, of course, there's also word of mouth. Please tell your friends, family, people that you know about the website and the iTunes feeds. If you know any James Bond fans or any people that like these sorts of lists or literally any of the other content that we're covering, if they're talking about any of it, uh, let them know about the content, the website, the iTunes feeds, all that good stuff, and they can have a listen for themselves. Uh, so yeah, word of mouth, or you can use, of course, uh, social media, Facebook and Twitter. Please share them on Facebook and retweet them on Twitter 
and if you're allowed to you can put them in different Facebook Facebook groups as well. Uh, video games if you want to watch us play different video games me and David stream on Twitch, Robert streams on Mixer and look out for Let's Play Sundays on Sunday. Thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.